By the end of this video, you will be able to use the search feature to search for more than one value in a field. Here's the situation. You are an administrative assistant for a large K-8 school. For her meeting this afternoon, the principal has asked you to print a student list displaying both kindergarten and fifth graders. How can you go about doing this? When you create a search command, it consists of three parts, the field name, a comparator, and what you are looking for. For example, typing the following in the search window will search the first name field and return any student whose first name is James. The results of your search will appear in the current student selection area of the start page. Searches are an incredibly useful tool in PowerSchool. Now you are ready to create that list of kindergarten and grade 5 students the principal was looking for. You need to begin at the PowerSchool start page. Click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page and you're ready to go. You want to select students from two specific grade levels, so you need to search the grade level field. Clicking on the view field list will show all the search fields available to you. Because there are hundreds of fields to choose from, use the filter at the top of the page to narrow your choices. Because we're looking for grade level, we'll type in grade, and several options will come up. Selecting grade level will properly enter that field into the search window. All searches need a comparator. By hitting the question mark beside the view field list, a handy help window opens up to help you with searches and makes for a great reference. Scrolling down, you will find a list of comparators that are available to you. From the list, you decide that the in comparator is what you need, as you're looking for students in grades kindergarten and five. Closing the window, you can now type the comparator in after grade level. Lastly, you're looking for students in grades K and five, so type in K, comma five, to complete the search command. Please note that you separate multiple search items using a comma. Clicking the search key executes the search and selects the students you need for your report. Once the students are selected, you need to list them by grade in a report for the principal. Looking down at the lower right, select the arrow key to display the group functions. Scanning the choices, you see List Students. Select this function. A window opens up that allows you to set up your report for printing. Type in a title for your report. Students in Grades K and 5. You can now set up columns for your report. It makes sense to have a column for grade level and a column for the names of the students. For column one, click on the fields button. Use your filter, type in grade, and our grade level field will be there. Click on that and it puts it in column one. You will need a name for this column, grade. For column two, you click on the corresponding fields button. In the filter, type in last for last name. Choose last first, as this will insert the student's full name. Give this column a title as well, student name. Lastly, you can set up your sort options as well. It would make sense to sort your report by grade level in ascending order. And it also makes sense to sort by last name. Notice that I wrote both of those exactly as they're listed above. So the report will be sorted by grade level and last name. If you're a little more tech savvy, then instead of typing, you can fill in these fields using the copy and paste feature. Let me demonstrate. Let me clear these out of the way. Simply left click and drag over the grade field. It will highlight, right click, copy, 
select the sort field, right click, paste. You can do the same for the last name. Left click and drag to highlight, right click, copy, Let's put it in this field here, right click, paste. This way you will avoid any typing errors along the way. Your report is now ready. Click Submit. As you can see, our students are listed alphabetically by grade, kindergarten, and grade five. To print your report, simply click on the print icon located in the upper right corner. Check your printing parameters. Press print and your task is complete. Congratulations, you've successfully used the search feature to search for more than one value in a field. Your list of students in kindergarten and grade five is ready for the principal.